Is donating plasma worth it? Now, as someone who's done most all of these side hustle apps, platforms, and niches, I haven't donated plasma. So in this video, I did my deep research. I'm going to show you three examples from some of the largest providers so we can answer this question together and obviously go over the pay, any bonuses, is it worth it, how long does it take, who can qualify, and how does it compare to these other traditional side hustles. So number one, who qualifies to donate plasma? Well, you need to be at least 18 years of age and weigh at least 110 pounds. Now, you also need to pass all other required donor eligibility criteria, and this is across the board for all of the providers we're going to see today. So the three providers we're going to look at today are CSL Plasma, the Griffles Network, including Biomat USA, and BioLife. And stand to the end of the video, I want to give you a verdict of these payouts and in my opinion, if it's worth it compared to other traditional side hustles. So let's look at example number one from CSL Plasma. And the first thing I want to look at are any incentive programs for being a first time donor. So this directly from CSL Plasma and these are going to vary by location. It says it's subject to change. Let's take a look here. So it says receive up to $100 for your first donation, up to $500 for your first a month as a new donor. Again, varies by location. Now, CSL also has a loyalty program you can see here. So you'll opt in, earn points, and you can deem that for rewards and cash back. So if you're watching this as a new donor, I had questions about how often can you donate? How is the bonus structure laid out? And then how much am I paid per donation? So if you didn't know, per regulations for the FDA, you can only donate once every two days and accumulation of two times every seven days. And I saw this on their website as well. So it gave us some insight of their actual app here for their payments and the rewards program. So looking a little closer here, it says 83 donations in this example, seven more donations to reach the platinum membership. So a tiered level for rewards here. I was also really curious, look here in the middle, it says last donation June 17th as an example, and it says $59, giving you 62 and a half points. We need the scale obviously for points and rewards here, but $59. So is that an average of a per session payout rate? And in the example, it says $354 for the month of June and then the associated points on the reward system. So looking for my location here in Pittsburgh, I found their page and I found the Facebook page, just the website page, and I didn't see the new donor monthly breakdown. So I did some research and I found you in a new donor monthly breakdown from a Lexington, Kentucky location from June 2022. Oh, also very important to know, I told you how often you can donate. Just so you know, very important, you can't cross donate at other locations as well. So here from the Griffles Network on their website, it says, can I donate at more than one plasma donation center? No, to protect our donors health and minimize the risk of donating more often than permitted. Again, that FDA regulation, donors aren't allowed to donate at more than one center. All plasma donation centers communicate regularly to verify the donors are complying with this policy. So even more reason to pay attention to this video to see which one might be best for you. But okay, back to that CSL pay card. Again, our example here from June 2022. So this incentive says get up to $825 for a new donor in your first month when you donate eight times. So here from our donor minimum of 110 pounds to a 400 pound participant. So first donation, you get $100 followed by $125 for the second and then just, yeah, $100 from the third to the eighth donation. And then I guess there's also time. So how long does this take? So CSL said it's going to take anywhere from 90 minutes to two and a half hours. Now, I have no medical experience. None of this is meant to be obviously medical advice or insight, right? But some of them had different times. But now moving on to the Griffles Network, which includes a Biomat USA, Plasma Care, and a Talcris Plasma Resources. So before I show you the Biomat example of their pay card and their new donor month, 
remember that everything else is basically the same. The process is the same and the payouts are actually the same as well. Insofar as these are all paying you to a prepay, like a debit card, basically. So here's the example from a Biomat USA location, this time Ogden, Utah from February of 2022, just for some context. Good to know if you actually want to see your city's new donor incentive for a month, just go to these websites. You can type in your city or your zip code so you can see your bonus. So it's $150 for the first time donor here. Well, that's op 50 from that CLS example, 125 for the second donation, which matched the CLS example, then 100s, and lastly, that 125 as an incentive here on their eighth donation. But what about after the bonus periods? You know, after these companies get you for that $800, $900 month. So in my research, it was about $50 to $90 per session after that initial new donor month. So we need to compare and contrast though. So comment down below, what is your experience with any of these providers and the per donation pay after a bonus new donor month? Here, as far as donations on the Griffles network, it said a two hour to two and a half hour donation session. Moving on to BioLife, and by the way, again, my name is Mike. All I do here is help you make money in different side hustles. Drop a like in this video if you're getting value so far. Now this one, finally, I did see a low local incentive here in Pittsburgh. So check it out. Okay. So BioLife, it's $850. So most every single provider that we've seen, comment below if you've seen more. And actually in my research, I think I've seen one $1,000 new month incentive from one of these locations. But for all of these, it was basically around 800 to 850. So it's like 800 from someone, 825 from another, 850. And you can only choose one because you can't cross donate there. And you're only going to have one first new month, right? But again, what happens after that first month? After you get that bonus pay of that 800, the 900, maybe $1,000 on your first dono month. So I did my research and this one I did actually find right here in Pittsburgh where the actual payouts are per session here. So here just found on r slash Pittsburgh on Reddit and as a testimonial, we can see BioLife Plasma. First month, this user commented $1,050. So there you go. There's a testimonial. That's $1,000. And this is here in Pittsburgh for a BioLife location. And they were asking the same thing, like, hey, how much am I going to expect or get per month after this bonus period? And a user commented, while it varies, it's usually $30 to $40 for the first visit of the week, $80 to $90 for the second visit of the week, and really an average of $120 a week. So here's my verdict. Is donating plasma worth it? So we saw of the three providers, like 800 bucks, we'll say, is the average new donation month. And then after that, we'll say $50 per session, and you can do you know seven, eight sessions a month. And it's gonna take an hour and a half, two hours-ish to do the donation. So let's say after the first month, because the first month you're gonna have the bonus pay, after that, if it averages, let's say $50, okay, we'll just say $50 a session, and we'll say it takes two hours, because we saw an hour and a half to two and a half hours in our research. So two hours, $50, that does equate to our channel goal of $25 an hour, but is it worth it? Well, number one, there's obviously the medical benefit. I mean, this, as we saw, cannot be synthesized artificially. It can only be obtained via donation. So you're helping patients in the medical community here. That's obviously number one. Number two is you're not driving, right? You're not doing the ride share. You're not doing food delivery, the grocery. You don't got to be in grocery stores. You don't got to go to Walmart for Walmart Spark. None of that. So you just have to drive to that one location. Again, you can't cross donate. It's always going to be that convenient one location. And you just sit there and you get the donation. It's in a controlled medical environment as well. This has been going on for a very long time as well, unlike the some of the apps in the side hustle economy. On the other hand, it's probably going to be uncomfortable for some people. You're going to have to have, yeah, the, the needle in your arm there, sitting there and just lock to that chair for an hour and a half, two hours. Not everyone's going to want to do that. And I don't know if I'd be a fan of just go in there, and then the whole bodily fluids thing. And I know there's deep, deep medical research. You can go on any of these websites. They'll get you more info on it. But 
I don't know. Like, do you feel like you want to do that? But let's say at $25 an hour, I feel like that's fair and it's a safe, simple side hustle. So that can certainly be an option for you. But comment down below the convenience factor, the time invested, but I'm not driving. Actually, I could just get dropped off if you're a one car household, what have you. So let me know of these three, do any of them stand out or is it basically kind of the same thing? And would you do this? Do you think donating plasma is it worth it? Drop a like this video if you got a value. You can also click or tap the screen here for my newest video as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.